All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm back with the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Redux, redo, re-something. Um, last time, meaning yesterday, we got to the mines and Ethan was running at the request of his dad. Um, I think that this is probably before... Well, it is. It's definitely before the rail car scene because Travis dies at the rail car scene. He, I'm assuming, ties Ethan to the railroad tracks and then uh, Ethan gets off and unties himself and then is fine. <clears throat> but Travis dies. He gets his legs severed and then he gets uh, clobbered with... Um, a shovel, I think. So, yup. So he's dead. So definitely the mines happened before that, but we're starting to just uh, kind of piece everything together. The mom's dead. Travis eventually dies. Chad eventually dies. And we are here. We are here, so... Oh, did it not save? He's just a kid. He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. He can't get away. Where's Mom? I thought I heard her voice. This was the last scene we saw. Still looking. She's actually dead. Through that water, it kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it's, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom, mom, where are you? I'll deal with your brothers. Go now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway, let's get a move on. I'm just going to go until I see the first opening. That looks like a dead end. It's going to be the stairs we went down. Okay. Ten flights of stairs, so we calculated yesterday. Two. Three. I can still hear the car. Four. Five. Halfway there. Halfway there. Keep running. Six. Seven, eight. Oh, maybe I miscounted. I thought there was ten. Okay, let's re-go over this really quick. If this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. But I also feel like I'm, if I'm near the bottom, then I'm probably near some of those houses. If I can get outside. Even though it didn't, t it told me to very specifically to not walk in here, and I've ignored that and just walked in here. that impression God, that upsets me I thought that this game didn't have any jump scares damn it okay all right I s okay I just want to say before I continue I paused it 
because I thought, wow, I just saw this guy and I didn't run like at all. Um, but then when I paused it, like right, right before I paused it, he like kind of fizzled away. So I thought, okay, it's just like a imaginative thing. And he popped up in our face and killed us. Okay. All right. So don't walk in here basically. But what if I just like, don't run into it? Like, should I try it again? Just because it's funny. Now I'm expecting it. So it won't scare me. Now there's different stuff. I'm here. I just have to not go like slow or what? Dead end. Oh boy. I'm not entertaining any of that. Dead end. I think I've been over there already. Shoot. Is that the same guy or is that a different guy? I'll go this way. Don't think I've been this way. This is the entrance, isn't it? No, it's not. What the heck? What's even the goal around here, brother? He is not dead, but eternal lie. Um, the god of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. His guardian, Its guardian eyes have long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. Some like code or something. Beg your pardon. Oh, there's something up there. Wait, do I have to do that to all the dudes around here then? Because there was a lot of them. I'd really rather not. A lot of candles up in this. Hello. Sense manipulate gate. I don't get it. Can I be done with this? How do I? Do I have to touch all these people throughout the mines? How come I died the first time? Is that supposed to happen and then you're supposed to try again? That seems intentionally unnerving. Okay. 
literally went to check my stream real quick and it was just pure black because of what I walked into. Well, I guess I gotta look for those people and I guess I gotta inspect them. I don't know how many there are though. Six maybe. Hmm. I'll go straight. So he'll go up. Nothing to read though. These are maybe just like random people or I don't really know what they would be. I guess I'll go this way. one right here. Okay. Inspect and run. Now, will I see that guy again? Will they do that flashing light thing? Or will he just pull up on me? I hope it does that flashing light thing. I made the right decision. I just ran away. So it seems. Um, I'm kind of wandering aimlessly, I will say. There's one. Okay. There's three. How many do I need, though? Seemed like I needed quite a few. Also, worth noting, I have no idea how to get back into the main room. This is, I think, the entrance, wasn't it? No. I am hopelessly lost, as it turns out. Oh, there's a big room. Oh, if I go, so I'm here. If I go to the left, and then the right, and then the right, we'll kind of see what's going on, but I don't know how many people I have. Here's, yeah. Me. He is not dead, but eternal life. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Not, no, I'll just do it on Snapchat. So that it's temporary. So I'm thinking maybe like first and last symbols or something. The god of aeons cannot die. We open the gate to get a bull that's guardian eyes of long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He that is which, which should not be. I think the name of their god is the sleeper. I think that I need four and I only have, oh, I have four. Oh wait, because there's six total with home, I'm safe. Uh, that's the first one. Last one's this one. What the heck does that thing look like? Uh, there's like a Z or something. Is that this one? Sort of. Yeah. Looks right enough, but how do I know? Well, hold on, let me exit. How do I know which one's which? Y'all do not be looking good, I'm not gonna lie. It's like one, two, three, four, maybe. Last one's this one. First one is that weird loopy thing, which is nowhere. I don't know. 
I feel like, okay, probably, so the second one is the Z. Second, not third. So. Yep. Second. What the heck is that thing? Looks like that, I think. Um, fourth? Is that weird looking one? That one? Mm, no, looks like it, well, go this way. Looks like that one more, and then another Z at the bottom. I'm wrong. Is it open? Wait, was it not open before and now it's open? I didn't mean to do that, but... Um... There's squares. Oh, that's the Star of David. It has six sides. So the sixth one is this weird looking trumpet sideways deal guy. But it's more to the left, right? Yeah, so it's this one. And then Z is the fourth one because it has four sides i think triangle so the third one is that little weird oh wait no 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 they match up to the i am so dumb okay i was making it even more complicated but we're on to something okay so the triangle is the weird flute looking deal the circles are the z okay i got that already Star of David is that weird looking deal, which is right here. And it is that thing, I think. The squares are the Z. Got that. Wait, what am I missing? So the circle and squares are Z. Okay. And then, and then I can look at the note maybe. Hmm. It doesn't have the well I can just plug and charge to see which one it is. So it's a it's the the M and then the loopy deal. So here is the loopy deal. I'll put the M on top and we'll just see what's up. Alright, I don't think it likes that. Alright, so then M on the bottom. Loopy deal on top. Shoot. Am I supposed to find somebody else? This is ridiculous. Triangle loopy weird guy. Yeah, that's the same as, yeah, it is. Z for the square. But it's like, I don't know, this Z looks like better than that one does, but I don't think, I don't think, nope, wrong one. I don't think there's anything better Z-wise than that, no. It's this one. Uh, circle is the Z as well. The little cross at the bottom, what is this, the Star of David? Oh, that's wrong. Is that wrong? That's wrong. 
Put a little cross at the bottom and then something at the top that goes. When I say cross, I just mean like not a not a cross, but this one. Is this right? Well, I got it now, so now it's got to be M on top, then. Oh, damn it. I'm realizing something. Give me one second. Loopy thing on the bottom, but it's probably not going to work. Bro, this triangle is facing upwards. And these triangles are facing upwards. This is a diamond all right so this is actually the loopy thing because it's actually that one because this one is facing down so i'm gonna put the m right here This could theoretically be it, but then it's if it's not, then that means that the loopy thing is right here. Like this, and this one's the M. You are killing me, brother. Why am I wrong? Is it like which side they're on is what needs to? Hmm. Maybe there's more to find and I'm just dumb or something. But like, look at, oops, a little glitch there. Look at this, loopy thing and an M, right? And I don't think there's any more to find. I'm just trash. Look around for more clues. Where? Square Z. Circles Z. Facing up triangle, squiggly thing, Star of David, weird cross looking guy. And then the other two symbols are the M and the squiggle. Did I not already try this? I that don't feel right. I got it, but what is happening? What do I do? I'm dead. I'm dead? What on God's green earth? <laughs> I 
uh, the Enochian Necronomicon, the iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb, disturb summon the sea thing Naya. Uh, one miner realized the ritual would unleash Naya's flood upon this world, and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with blades of sharp, of shards of magic Elfdown, Elfden. Uh, Naya, in response, cursed the miner who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. Well, that's lovely because. I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, look it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home. <laughs> There's the sea thing. Quest for clarification. Direct uh, addressed to Mr. Dale Carter. Red Creek Valley from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Dear Mr. Carter, the United States Patent and Trademark Office had received your January 27th, uh, 1973 letter requesting further explanation, quote, as to why your recently submitted patent 527F2D was rejected by this office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record for you more than four dozen requested patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful and all have been met with challenges by you. Mr. Carter, we would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. Sincerely, James Monkey, Administrative Director. What is he trying to patent? Dale, get your shit out of our basement. Bring it to the goddamn dump. I am so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on my way to using the washing machine. I'm not kidding. Either you move it or I burn it. Dash M. Missy? Oh my god, she's terrible. She's awful to him. Oh, now this is closed. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that, uh... That code, though, because it didn't feel right. I know there's other stuff to explore in these mines, brother. Dead end. Is there really nothing else? I thought there was something else. Oh, right here, right here. Right? Or maybe that's just where I go, because this leads to a stop. I'll turn it off. Let her rest. She's been running this whole time that we were summoning a giant octopus. What the? Oh, this is this is what Ethan meant when he said through there. It looks like the water's boiling. And Dale said no, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. I don't like this much. Ooh. Please just let me get to the other side, bro. I don't want to deal with nothing in the water. Okay. Alright, well. Dale was right. I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. I put on my the full headphones to get the experiment. With any luck, experience. Walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. And it wanted me to leave. Don't touch me on my way out. 
All right, now the gate's busted, eh? Hmm. Here we are. Oh, no. Not now it's busted. This is a different... This is an exit, not the entrance to that one gate that was closed. This is where I was trying to get initially. Okay. It is a little loud, so apologies if it's, uh... You can't hear me, or maybe I should shut up anyway. But here we are. More, more stuff to look through. I guess I'll go in the house rather than around it. Probably a axe. Yeah, an axe that was supposed to be in here. Look around. Oh, it likes it over here. Up here. I was close up here. Right... Here. near a rug. Oh, and some blood. Okay, we'll find it. Someone's dead here, then. What was the, the door was? Desperation or rage. Hmm. Here's the rug. Oh, yeah, here's our body. Victim cornered. Punctured throat. No other runes. No footprints in the blood. No signs of struggle. Oh, yeah, we don't have anything yet. Overturned pen holder. Scattered accessories. I've been taken in a rush. I'm so close. Scissors. They're on. Oh, they're outside. The elevator? Okay. Well, we'll find him. Definitely want the axe. Doesn't look bloody, does it? That's just chipped paint at the top. Okay. Let's look behind and just be sure. Alright, we gotta go find the scissors that are apparently uh, outside somewhere. This is the only place I can go, isn't it? Or is there a downstairs? Mm. Oh, I found, yeah, I found the axe. Okay, let's walk around. We're much quicker at this now, as it turns out door that says probably I can't enter it. Mm, can't go this way. It's real pretty out here, but lots of bad stuff happening. Hey. Eh? Same deal here. Lots of doors we can't get into. Even still... Even still. Look at that. Look, there's probably stuff down here. But I can't explore any of this? There's gotta be a door over here, dude. No chance. I can't get in here. Brother. Whatever. Uh. There's something by the creek where... I can get this pair of scissors. Maybe it's near the other building. A. Yeah, there's another building over here. There's plenty to explore in here. There's no way I can't get inside. Like, that's crazy to me. That I can't get inside of it. But, whatever. We will go a searching.
There's where I came out of. Let's go on top. I wonder if there's any cool Easter eggs in this game. I'll look after. I'm sure there probably is somewhere. Can't get in here. Yeah. No way. This one's locked now. Can't walk over there. Ay, ay, ay. All right. We got to be better searching. I don't think it'll ever let me cross, but... No, that's not gonna let me... Mm. It's just crazy to me that I can't get in this house. Geek out on the side door. There's really no other place to go. I'm not blind. Yeah, I'm just missing something. Okay. Um. We'll figure it out. This is probably way too crazy for this game, but I almost wondered if we ziplined on the power lines or something to get across, because the power lines do get across. Oh, did I find it? I think I found, yeah, scissors. There they are, nice and bloody. Like we like them, eh? Oh, I can go up as well. Um, I will not go up right now. I'm going to take the scissors back and see if that's enough to solve the murder, and if it's not, then I will go up. But it just seems, uh, silly. Not silly, but, um, like, you know, a tease, sort of, how this is so huge, and, like, even that building over there is, uh decently sized and that one's locked and this one there's like no door <laughs> all right i put the scissors all right let's see if there's anything else we need to know nope we can solve it that's why i wanted to come back and i think that this is dale just wait for them to trigger one will be right here, yeah. Oh, one right here. Dale has the scissors. Travis has an axe. Looks like he's warding him off. Dale opens the door to see Travis is standing there. Any others? Where's the other one? I almost wonder if it's in front of the mine because that's where we came out of. No? I can't do chronology yet. So they're here. They're here. 
there anything back here? How come I can't do the chronology yet? I'm missing one. Maybe the elevator? Oh, I got out of it. I went too far. Well, where's the last damn thing? <laughs> like, why do they make these so difficult? They should be not just like these little floating things. They should have some sort of aerial view. Alright, one, yes. So, I can't do chronology. Because I am missing one. So, what is the one that I am missing? It is, it's right here, what the heck? Look at how that blended in. Travis is coming out and Dale's waiting for him. He's like, I'm gonna get you. And then Travis overpowers him and now he has the ax. And dad's like, my fault Brody. Didn't mean it. It was just, just, just a prank. Calm down. Just a prank. And then he's like, "You really about to do this, though?" Travis makes him do it himself. That's my guess. Where is my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. wishes he chose mom he chose me son i don't want to hurt you you think scissors are gonna save you yes jeez Well then.
Now it's all foggy outside. Did I miss one? Because it's supposed to get all not foggy and then I win. Maybe I missed one. What's with the music, dude? Scaring me. Oh, this is open now. There it is. Bargaining. The only one I can turn is this one. Oh, the water is going to stop rushing, I think. So then maybe I can walk across the bridge. Okay. Sounds like it's still rushing. What the heck's the point of being up here? No. Whole lot of nothing. Whatever. Okay. Alright. Well, the water's still going, but. Move block? Wait, how did it lock behind me? It's not going to let me across still, I don't think. That's maybe my goal, but... Yeah. Okay. That's alright. I'm not so sure what that did for me, the moving thing, but I do know that we have the elevator to look for right now, so I suppose I can take a look around to be sure that this house is not open anywhere now. I can't open any doors at all. They're not even necessarily locked, I just like literally do not have the option to open them. Okay. Alright, let's just go to the elevator. It's alright. It is alright. I believe it was a path up here. Okay. You know, I came all this way just assuming that it worked. Because I saw that it set up. But that door to the water room or whatever also said open and it didn't open because it was locked. So, I had a leap of faith. And by leap, I mean 
few minute walk. Not an actual leap though. Nifty little thing. Yeah, that's actually hilarious because I have been up here before and I'm just now piecing that together. Is there stuff over there? I could potentially walk along the creek. Oi, oi, oi. Do I have to figure out something in that... What did that thing do for me? Is my real question. <sighs> I really don't want to go look around. So I can call it down, but I can't call it up. Well, it's real pretty up here. Good thing, because we're about to look at it again all the way down. Let me go back. I, uh, I should have thought this through. But it does feel necessary that I would try to do something over here. You know what? I didn't go out the other side. I didn't even try. So, no, I don't know what this thing does. I don't even know if I can turn it again. I can, if I want to. God, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. Alright, well. New territory, regardless. Can I... What the heck? So I just can't walk in the water at all. <clears throat> well, I had high hopes for a second. What does this do? It activates this thing. Does this help turn the water? I don't know what this thing does. It does. It turns the water out. And that makes it to where... what? No way I can go now. It's gonna like it even less.
Mm. Can't go here, can't go there. I have the dumb. So now it doesn't rush as much. It doesn't really rush out at all. But what does that change? Because I still can't walk in the water. Or so I'm under the impression. Anyway. I can walk, like, barely in it a little bit. I- you mean to tell me that I can't just- after everything we've been through, I can't just walk to the- And in addition to that, the upstairs means nothing. I'm dumb, or what? I don't get it. I don't get it. The upstairs is useless. The downstairs serves one function, which is to...
I don't care what the other side is for. Good thing I gave it a shot. Uh, yeah. Still don't get what the other side is for, but whatever. Hopefully I don't ever have to go back up. Or go back down here from being up there, because if I do, then I, I have to go through the mines. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Good sign. This is pretty. Again. Look at this. This is crazy. Reminds me of the Talos Principle. Orvis. Where's the O? Dang, where's the O, bruh? It has to be right here. Yes. Core. This. Is it core of us? Beg your part. Oh.
this Ed? I have stuff. I'd like to come down here. Oh, this is the yeah. The room. Okay. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me! Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vanderbilt's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. What the? When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergrift kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. I can squeeze through. Oh no. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Wow. It's Ethan. Here, again, I knew this story, and it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. No. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Oh, wow. Wow. 
I've been here before. Is that what that means? Ancient God. I guess I don't know what this place is. I've been in here. One second, my dogs. I know uh, what this place is, so I don't understand why it has the question marks, but I feel like I've been everywhere. The traps. Um, what is this? Do I remember the traps? I want to get the full experience so I don't, you know, is this the water? One second. Gosh, I'm so sorry. So this is the water and yeah, or it is, right? Oh no, this is the train tracks. Maybe I'll just go to the stories. I'm not sure why they have question marks on them and some of them have the X's, like these two have the X's, but. Oh, his stories, Ethan's stories. I see. I found the portals. Did the ancient god thing. I have to find all of them though, don't I? I get it. Alright, so here I have to find all the traps. I found... a good amount of them, but not all of them. There's a trap. The portal gets bigger with each one. So I'm not, I'm near like the beginning. I just have to walk around. This was one of the first things that, that happened. <sighs> Say you found traps. The right, bigger one. That was a disgusting one. There it is. Oh, just a bunch of dead bodies everywhere. It's lovely.
I don't know if there's a story now. Yeah, I figured I'd have to get, I'd have to do something here. There's a trap, uh, real close by. Are all the bodies still here? Yes. Oh, Reed, here we go. Forest man. Sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believe this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because when they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. One dead in house fire. Bayfield County fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from Bayfield County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandergrift, the Ogden Lake. By the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley, Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin. 62 told investigators they may he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in hand firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1 a.m and remained in the scene until around 5 a.m wednesday they returned to the property hours later to extinguish uh, yeah etc after heated public hearing no answers for vandegriff heirs uh, members of the Vandergriff family again gathered in the bayfield county courthouse today to debate the fate of the Vandergriff fortune which has remained in the escrow since 1961 1961 uh blank family patriarch the, the family patriarch albert and uh, died in a mine accident thing. after effects of blank destroyed hmm. james vandergriff 38 of chicago um argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many vandergriff family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandergriff estate, as stipulated in the Elder Vandergriff's will. The recent fire in the reef in which the Vandergriff home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concern. Uh, concerns. Since 1967, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandergriff estate as temporary caretakers. Well, isn't that interesting? I believe if I track back here, I'll find the portal. Yeah. Okay, so there's a few stories that we haven't completed yet. Um, animals? Where am I? I'm here. Hmm. I don't remember finding anything here. Whoa. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask you questions about the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you.
I don't know what I'm answering. Someone help me. A beautiful woman sat by her. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear as she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Even okay. the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and no, I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious being. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Maybe he was writing as his mom as the woman in the river. Cat jumped on me and scared. Wow, um, all right. Where's the portal? I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I really truly don't know where I'm going. It'd be nice to get some Where am I? What the heck, dude? I get that. I get that there's stuff there. Alright, I just gotta pick a direction and walk. This is some Blair Witch Simulator. Or something. This way probably is good. There's a path now. Yep, okay. Wow. There's the portal. Alright, uh, one more store to go. <clears throat> Surprised I missed some of these. That one was as simple as just walking out into the woods. Not necessarily finding anything. Uh... The one by the bridge. By the tracks, rather. Where have I not gone around here? Just out into the fields? Let's be on the lookout for stuff. I'm not, I'm not sure what exactly it wants us to look for, but we have a lot of open space. I'm sure that we can find something out here. Mm. 
What is this? Oh. It's just part of the trees. Not a big deal anyway, I don't think. Have to do with the train cars, maybe? Sorry I'm not talking much, that, uh, that witch story, that was really something, eh? I've been here before. portals over there. Maybe it's... It's gotta be around the portal. Is the idea, anyway. Wood, maybe? Another train car. Makes me think it has to do with the train cars. I suppose not, though. Trees, train cars, etc. I hear a creaking noise. Maybe that's a good thing. I heard this before. And I, like, actively avoided it, I feel like. I hear it. Where is the noise? Right here? What is this? Where'd you go? Oh, hello. Right here. Here. Okay. Keep going. Okay. What the? Oh, hello. What the heck? Actually, oh. What the heck? A 
that's a thing. Extraterrestrial containment capsule number 86911. Fangs. The beast. Wait. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and, the, and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. How? Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. Lamb. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Can I safely assume you've not reached the end yet? I think that we might be on the edge of it. This is the story, and I think it's my last story. Abstruse Tales. Gaylord. That's what somebody has wrote, writ, written on here. Yellow Hills of Mars. Oh, that's the little capsule, the extraterrestrial capsule. Yellow Hills of Mars. Is that just like fiction stuff? And Travis is uh, bullying him for it. So he's got a story for each of his family members that... I did him wrong. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see. Uh, completion here. Stephen, you're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma, he's in here. Honey, be careful with that lamp. Damn. What the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake. You missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad! Shut up! You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, shit! Shit! Everyone, go! Get out! Get out! This is smoke, it's toxic! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! What do we do? What do we do? Wow. 
Wow. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me, Rita. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. You read it, but my story's done. And it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? Sleeper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Sleepers in all of us. It's too late. Wow. Wow. Um mm. Okay, huge uh Yeah, graphics and music are fantastic, absolutely. Um, just everything was insane. I can't believe this. That's crazy. The sleeper must rise. The sleeper must wake up. Wow. I'm just thinking about everything that they said. The sleeper stays and feeds off of its victims and someone must suffer. Ethan was the sleeper. And the, the murders were the stages of grief. Oh my goodness. This is, there are so many similarities to to rhyme. Oh my goodness. Um, Lamb, I have played Corn. I streamed it. It was amazing. It was amazing. I think next up, I'm, uh, I have a lot of games coming up. Um, 
that I'm super excited about. Um, if you're not a part of my Discord, I am going to try to uh, do like a voting thing. Um, set up where people can vote, but... On the next game that I play, I'll probably do that soon, because I'm going to stream tomorrow most likely, but wow. I am just stunned. That was... That was crazy. Um... Congr... I don't... Probably, it feels like weird wording. Congratulations. I guess I was just going to say uh, thank you and huge um, thanks to all of the developers and people who went into the creation of this game. Absolutely phenomenal storytelling. Graphics are insane. Music is insane. Um, the voice acting was great. Wow. Um, too old to learn Discord and not... <laughs> uh, no problem. Um, and, well, uh, I think that I'll choose a fun one regardless. I obviously don't have, like, a bunch of followers and everything, but, uh, you know, hopefully we get more people that are like-minded through enjoying games like this and puzzles adventures etc then we'll uh, <clears throat> just kind of have the community suggest some cool games for me to for me to play well i was fitting yeah it's uh that's just that's just amazing um the storytelling absolutely brilliant everything about this game is great but wow the whole sleeper thing it, it makes you feel like there's almost like a demonic sense to it. And then at the end, it's just... Wow. That is that is crazy. That is... It's beautiful. It's sickening at the same time. The story is... Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and sign off. I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm going to do... Since this is a shorter stream than usual, I'll probably sit here and try to do a little research into some of the games that I've gotten recently and try to see... Uh, which ones we want to do next. I have one that it's kind of on my mind, or a few. There's Backpack Hero, which is more of a roguelike. But I also have one called the Pangs Creek Killings. And it's, um, I think, about like a series of murders or something that you kind of have to solve, detective-based sort of stuff. But um, I'll do a little research on which one we want to play next. Might mix it up. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be here tomorrow, and I'll, I'm definitely uploading these to YouTube because it's just... Just want to have it available for for people to visit, and I might rewatch some of the parts of this um, just for my own benefit. But uh, all right, so hope to see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. If you're watching now, Lamb, thank you so much for stopping in again. Great to see you. Hope to see you uh, again soon, and I hope that you're having a good week. Uh, so if you're watching now or in the future, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And wow, did I enjoy this one! Uh, have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or night, whatever applies to you, and I hope to see you at the next stream.